At the end of July, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus popped up on Geekbench with an impressive set of scores. The listing includes a single-core score of 2233 and a multi-core one of 6661, making it speedier than just about any Android handset out there. That benchmark entry confirmed that the upcoming Samsung flagship is powered by a new Qualcomm chipset. However, at that time, we had no point of comparison with other upcoming smartphones that will also employ the next-gen Qualcomm chip. Now we do. A newer Geekbench entry for the Nubia NX769J, which is believed to be upcoming Red Magic 9, revealed that the Nubia phone has the same pineapple motherboard and walk governor as the Galaxy S24 Plus. In other words, both phones will be powered by the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. However, it turns out that Samsung will equip the Galaxy S24 with a beefed-up version of the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip. It's another SOC labeled for Galaxy, with a single-core score of 1596 and a multi-core one of 5977. It's markedly weaker than the S24 Plus listing, and while that's unlikely to be the kind of thing you notice in day-to-day -day use. It does suggest that Samsung has once again negotiated an improved for Galaxy chipset, giving anyone looking for the very best smartphone a reason to consider the S24. However, not every Galaxy S24 handset will offer this perk if one rumor is to be believed. According to TechReve, a leaker who has secured a few correct predictions, Samsung is considering reserving Snapdragon chips for the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Plus models, leaving the basic S24 with its own Exynos chips. One explanation is an improved 4 num yield, giving the company more Exynos chips to use. Historically, Samsung has divided the chipsets it uses by region rather than device, with the US getting Qualcomm and the rest of the world getting Exynos. That's something that's still being considered this time around too, Techery says, and it seems more likely. Putting its own Exynos chip into a cheaper model would be tacitly admitting it's a weaker product, which wouldn't be a good look for Samsung. This isn't to say the approach wouldn't have upsides. Using the Exynos chipset in the standard S24 with Qualcomm for the more expensive units would give buyers around the world a real choice and could potentially lower the cost of the entry-level model for all. We're so many away from finding out which path Samsung will take. Historically, the Galaxy S has arrived in January or February. Though there's a chance it could be a little earlier this generation, what with Qualcomm apparently planning its annual summit for October. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S24 series might not hold any surprises regarding storage. The Ultra model will top out at one terabyte of storage. And we can also confirm that the base Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus will not enjoy this luxury. They will offer a maximum of 512 gigs of storage, similar to the S23 and the 23 Plus. This seems that Samsung is going to do something unimagined with its vanilla models as we're already getting multiple leaks for the Ultra, the base model is lagging behind somewhere. So what are your thoughts on the upcoming Galaxy S24 lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section, and for more Galaxy updates, you can check out our channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.